Okay, so we have another advanced SAT math question, uh, difficulty of heart. We're given the table here, x and g of x. And let's read the question. The table shows the three values of x and their corresponding values of g of x, where g of x equals, let's write it down, g of x equals f of x over x plus 3. And f is a linear function. What is the y-intercept? Here's a goal. y-intercept of the graph y equals f of x in the y-plane for f of x. Okay, so which means that we need to write down the function of f of x. So how do we find it? We need to use this equation. So if you rearrange it, f of x can be written as uh, g of x times x plus 3. So let's construct the f of x by using the table values. If you say x equals negative 27, we plug it in tw negative 27 into the x, and g of negative 27, and 27, actually negative 27 plus 3. So g of negative 27 in the first row in our table is 3. And negative 27 plus 3 will give you negative 24, and this gives you negative 72. Now, if you look at the second row and set x equals negative 9, we're going to get 0. So f of negative 9 is equal to g of negative 9 times, parenthesis open, negative 9 plus 3. So g of negative 9 is 0. So we don't really need anything. Everything will just become zero. Now, they said this is a linear function. You can go for third row, but we don't have to waste our time here. All we need is just two points and get the equation and find the y-intercept. So if you rewrite our f of x, we have negative 27, comma, negative 72. And for the x, we have negative 9, comma, 0. So let's find the slope. Again, this is for f of x, the two points in f of x. The slope would be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So I can say 0 minus negative 72 over negative 9 minus negative 27. So on the numerator, we get positive 72. On the denominators, 27 minus 9 will give us 16. I'm sorry, it's 18, my bad. 18. And we get slope of 4. And once you determine the slope, y equals 4x plus b, we can choose this coordinate. This is easier. Uh, besides, we got 0 for y. So 0 equals, so we plug it in y for 0, x for negative 9. And we look for value b here. So b is equal to 36, because if you multiply 4 and negative 9, you bring it to the other side, it's going to change the sign and make it positive. So b equals 39, so the answer is 0, 0,36 for our y-coordinate, uh, y-intercept coordinate. Okay, the answer is A.